A beautiful day mga ka -CSA. Welcome to the Certified Skin Authority. I'm Dr. Contessa, your host, giving you updates on the science of skin care, anti-aging medicine, laser technology, and aesthetic dermatology. In today's episode, let's talk about the different underarm concerns. Ano ba ang mga iba't ibang issues na kinakaharap ng karamihan sa atin when it comes to the underarm? Marami kaming mga clients na nagtatanong ng underarm whitening, removal of unwanted hairs, excessive sweating on the armpit, or chicken skin or rough skin in that area. Ano ba ang mga epektibong pamamaraan upang matugunan ang lahat ng mga concerns na ito? Pakinggan din natin ang mga ibabahagi sa atin ng ating mga naging guest models when it comes to the underarm treatment like LASMD whitening, Lucid Laser underarm whitening, as well as the IPL hair removal. So ang lahat ng mga iyan sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. Carmina, ang inyong modelo na ginawang bahay ang CSA. <laughs> May ganun. Um, I tried LASMD na and all I can say is amazing. Kasi it doesn't need anesthesia. Um, walang downtime. The next day, nakita ko talaga yung effect, lalo na yung sa eye bugs ko. Super na-enjoy ko siya kasi the next day talagang lumabas ako na no makeup. Parang feeling ko ang confident-confident ko kasi yun yung isa sa mga super kinaka-insecure ko. And um, aside from that, I also tried IPL, which is naka five sessions lang yata ako, and it's really effective. Na wala kang ma feel na pain at all, pero yung effect niya eh makikita mo na ma amaze ka, ma wow ka. So para sa akin, masasabi ko na CSA is the answer or remedy to every woman's insecurity. Yun, ang galing lang kasi talaga. Ngayon, um, nadagdagan yung self confidence ko pagdating sa. Um, Anything. When I talk to people, parang wala na akong tinatago, ganun. Yun, super happy. So, ngayon naman, ang gagawin ni Doktora is, um, i-resolve niya yung hassle na maglalagay ka pa ng deodorant, pinaproblema pa, dinadala mo, pag pinagpawisan ka, ganyan. So, yun yung isosolve niya ngayon na hindi na daw kakailanganin nun. Through Botox, I guess. Ayun, abangan niya yan. Hello, mga ka-CSA. So, Kilalang kilala nyo na tong babaeng nasa harapan nyo. So, I'm Cheng Paires, always Suki, here at CSA Derm Center. So, of course, very thankful ako sa CSA because it helped me a lot in enhancing my beauty. Of course, especially sa ating mga girls yan. And ano ba ang, ang mga nabigay sa akin ng CSA? So, I had experience before. I had nose fillers, like nose fillers for my enhance, enhancements sa akin facial features. So I also experienced mesotherapy wherein um, it helps you lose fat, especially sa mga person na very busy and no time to go to the gym. So it, it is really help to maintain that sexy figure. I also had the IPL treatment, yung um, um, pag remove ng hair or what do you call this one? Painless removal ng hair natin, and it also enhances yung mga um, dark under arms then. And also, uh, we have Lasm D, which is from the previous um, episode we tackled about that. Ito yung uh, pag enhance or whiten no ating mga dark spots sa ating body. And also later, I will try this treatment called Lucid Procedure, which is I'm very excited. To try, wherein ang ita target yata is sa ating underarm, then which is our topic for today, which helps na paputi in 
ang ating mga kilikili. So guys, stay tuned and don't change your channel. And we're back mga ka-CSA together with me, our CSA model Miss Carmina Joven and also our regular co-host Miss Cheng Paire. Hello, Maka Yes. Hello, beautiful Carmina. Hello, Carmina. Right. <laughs> and hello, Renke, beautiful yes, Dr. Beautiful. Hello, thank you so much. Aren't we all excited about our topic yes. for today? Very interesting po ang topic natin ngayon. Exactly. Maraming siguradong tututok at makikinig talaga sa mga sabihin natin ngayon. For this yes. episode, yes. And this is being made also for the sake of our viewers who are always asking, Ano bang best treatment for underarm whitening? Mm -hmm. Kilikili problem. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Ito, Just... um, pinaka devastating problem ng mga girls. Yeah. I think that's the top one. Yung yeah. darkening yeah. of the armpit. Yeah. Yan ang pinaka common, di ba? Yes. Kasi everyday we use deodorants, we don't wanna sweat, di ba? We do plucking, shaving, waxing, waxing yeah. all and that. We have this chicken skin and right. baba. Yeah. And the others are using some regimen on their armpit, mm -hmm. diba? A mixture of yung iba, they apply calamansi. Yes. For yeah. some people, it may be effective for whitening. Mm -hmm. But for others who have sensitive skin, it may not, yes. right? Yeah. What if allergic pala siya doon? May allergic po ba sa calamansi? Yes. <laughs> There are people who are allergic to that okay. calamansi. Mayroon pa rin content, though natural. Right. Mayroon pa rin mga acid content, which is, may, might be sensitive. And right. even to the use of mga underarm deodorants, there are some people who are reacting to it also. So mayroon may aller allergy mm -hmm. sa and mga especially dok, deodorant. Um, kin natin niya ito sa kilip-kilip, manipis. Yeah. Yeah. And sensitive. And it's very glandular. Maraming sweat glands dyan. Sweat and the hair follicles. Mm -hmm. Yan yung mga factors kung bakit nagkakaroon ng pigmentation. Ang collect eh. ng dirt, bacteria. Exactly. Yeah. Tapang kilikili. Usually, <laughs> syempre nung childhood days natin, hindi problem yun yeah. eh. Ay, hindi yes, concern po. yun eh. Di ba? Nung school age, elementary days, even yeah. high school days. Pero, during high school, nag start na. Puberty stage. Puberty stage. Yan, Yan yung na. hormonal changes na. So, nakakapansin na ng sweating, Hair growth, pigmentation, yes. nasa kakaroon na ng mga follicular bumps, yes. lumps, chicken skin. Usual Ayan. changes sa katawan niya. At nahihiya na pong itaas ang kamay, parang right. ganito na. Yes. <laughs> so mostly mayroon na ako mga teenagers coming over also. Yun nga ang pinaka-common, yung dark underarm. Yes. But you know what, there are also cases ng pagkakaroon ng dark underarm kung meron sila ng tinatawag na hyperglycemia or parang pre-diabetic mm. condition. Okay. Okay. Meron kaming cases na ganyan. We, we call it acanthosis nigricans. Mm. Ayan, we're learning mm. mga ka wow. CSA, di ba? May medical aspect din. Yes, it has something to do with the pigmentation mm. the, Yes. The yes. So, so yan. Mga batok -batok. Right. Yun yes. Yung no? oh. May signs po ba para malaman nila if meron silang parang ganun na problem? Right. Kasi if I have patients whom I see, lalo na teenagers, yes. na dark talaga yung underarm, even mm -hmm. other parts of the body, like yung neck part, mm -hmm. dark pa rin, mm -hmm. or merong mga skin tags, mm -hmm. we have to check their, ano, yung blood chemistry, yeah. like fasting blood sugar. So, yan, sa so teenage years yan. Now, as time passes by, mm -hmm. pag nagpupunta na sa, ano, early adolescence, yeah. tapos mid-adolescence, late adolescence, tapos adulthood. Nag-iiba-iba ang mga concerns, mm -mm -mm. right? Pansin ko yan daw. <laughs> diba? Anong age na ba ni Miss Cheng? Um, <laughs> Anong stage na? 25. Oh, <laughs> Anong stage na yan? Um, middle. Late adolescence? Middle. middle? Yeah, alam, alam ko ah. Middle. Diba? Middle. Nasa adulthood na? Middle. <laughs> oh, sige, pagbigyan natin. Okay? Siyempre, as time passes, ba'y nag-iiba rin ang mga concerns sa armpit area? Yung iba nga, yung, yung hair, nagiging problem, nagiging parang ingrown. Yes. Yung case ako Maybe na yung hair that. follicle, nag-stay beneath the skin. Mm -hmm. And there's a treatment for that. Sometimes we do surgical removal of that part. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then pag nag age age na, iba na naman din ang concern. Yes. Siyempre, ano pa? You mentioned earlier, um, Doc, 
yung palang pati skin natin sa Pilipinas, nagsasaya. Yes. And nag-age. Oh my gosh. Oo, oh, nag-age din. So ako, in the 40s, ayan. So yung mga ganitong stage, syempre, loss of collagen, loss of elastin. Di mo na lang ayan na. Eh. na. Oh, <laughs> diba? Parang dinodjoke ko lang yung itong pito. Happy to be 40. <laughs> yan. So those are the concerns mm -hmm. dun sa stage na yon. Mm -hmm. And buti na lang ang ating CSA, Certified Skin Authority, have remedies for these skin concerns, right? And thank you for sharing with us all the experiences, yung success ng mga naging treatments ninyo. Yes, yes po. Super proud kasi kami sa experience yes, namin. Yes. Kasi parang magical na siya kasi syempre parang like kapag may problem ka um, sa skin or like specifically sa kilikili, ganyan. Parang akala mo forever na eh. Parang wala nang pag-asa. Yes. Pero sa CSA meron. Yeah, when I diba? met Doctora, wow, parang, I mean, answered prayers. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we are here to do skincare maintenance sa underarm part. Okay? Since you started with it, kailangan tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aalaga. Diba? Maintenance yan eh. Para lang yung halimbawa, high blood pressure, ginamot ko na, and then, Nag-normal na yung BP. Mm -hmm. Kumain ng bawal. <laughs> yes. And in-stop ko ang gamot. Uh, yes. Maintenance. Pwede na namang tumaas ang yes. BP ko. So there are Maintain. a sort of like maintenance treatment mm -hmm. talaga. So in your case, we do maintenance sessions, right? Kasi you're subject to all these hormonal factors. Yes. Ako sa aging Depending. factor. Yes. Ano pa bang mga Hindi factors? Hindi naman po halata. Ang kasi <laughs> lifestyle. How they, how they take care of their exactly. body and stuff. Yes. Kahit right. gano'ng kakabata kung hindi right. mo naman naalagaan sa lagi na yung matawa. Yes. Oo, mga matanda. Since <laughs> number yeah. one concern talaga is the darkening of the armpit, mm -hmm. let's show our CSA ano pa yung pwedeng option for whitening sa underarm. So we will be doing the so-called possible din kasi ang mag- light diamond peel together with the cryo whitening yeah. and of course para hindi na gumamit ng deodorant or any antiperspirant we inject botox one treatment of underarm whitening is the injection of botox right now and of course we'll give that to our model csa model miss carmina hove yeah, excited and, na yeah, right very excited na and after that for our miss chang maintenance then ng whitening, mm. our lucid laser underarm whitening at amin pong ipapakita yan sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. Don't change your channel! And we're back mga ka-CSA. Narito tayo sa part na kung saan we will be performing three kinds of treatments on the underarm area and we're still with Miss Cheng. Yes. Hello mga ka -CSA. And Miss Carmina. Hi. Okay. So ayan, ating ipapakita sa ating mga ka -CSA, ang diamond peel mm -hmm. can also be used on the armpit. Wow. In a way na safe naman yung mm -hmm. paggawa. Normally we only make use of a soft peel lamang. Okay. So like we'll be combining tatlong klase We'll start with the diamond peel and then after that, the cryo-whitening. Cryo so, wow. immediately after my cryo-whitening, I can already inject the Botox. Oh, wow, let's do this! Yes, let's do it! Okay, so actually before the procedure, our uh, therapists are already cleaning the area. Mm -hmm. So while our therapist will be starting with the diamond peel on the armpit, okay. actually yung tip na gagamitin will just be very smooth, okay? okay. It's not the rough one. So, uh, for example, yes. na rin yung doc, pwede pa na talaga yung diamond peel sa yes. armpit. Case-to-case uh, case basis so. naman, okay? Mm -hmm. for, for some people, I don't actually recommend it kung merong mga sensitivities, mm -hmm. okay? So, but we're just doing the gentle approach. This is okay. just to also remove yung dead cell layer, okay? Mm -hmm. So, few strokes lang to make it smoother din eh. Diba? We want it to have a soft, smooth surface. Prior to the diamond peel, we cleanse the area. Yes. Of course, part of our steps is anti -sepsis. Yes. Right? Very we important. make sure yes. that uh, the skin has been cleansed. Cleanse. Yeah, and we make use of gentle cleansers also. And then, um, after ng ating diamond peel or yung mild microdermabrasion, mm -hmm. We can proceed with the cryotherapy with whitening. Whitening, wow. Yes. Ito so only a few strokes malamig, lang. Malamig pag exactly. When you say cryo, kasi we mean cold. Cold, right? okay. So, nice. Okay, that's, that's just a few strokes. Yes. Okay, then we can proceed already to the cryo whitening. So, si cryo din pala, Doc, may yes. whitening effect din pala. Yes, ma'am. 
So we're done with the diamond peel. We can now proceed to the cryotherapy. But the wonderful thing with the cryotherapy, since it is cold, nakaka-tighten din ng skin. Yes. And at the same time, nakuklose yung pores. Mark. And as well as we can infuse some whitening serums. Mm -hmm. Mostly sa armpit naman. Like last time, we made yes. use of last MD infusing vitamin C, right? If you can recall, Carmina. Yes, po. Yeah. How was your treatment with the last MD? Bongga siya. <laughs> Bongga. <laughs> Yung yeah. perfect word, bongga So this one, this right. is... Yeah, that's also a vitamin C serum. Mm. Take note, we know that vitamin C is also an anti-pigment. Yes. It helps in lightening the skin as well. And at the same time, it's very safe. No? So, since this is a cold therapy, and at the you same like time, it? Yeah, mm. you have a whitening compound. <laughs> right? The wow. whitening compound can mm -hmm. penetrate the skin easily yes. with the help of our cryotherapy. Yes. The cryotherapy also has the function of... Um, Ionthoparesis. What's that? So, one? meaning to say, uh, this kind of treatment mm -hmm. will help the molecule or the fresh compound mm -mm. to go into the inner layer. Wow! So, nakaka penetrate siya, na absorb siya sa loob ng ating skin. Mm -hmm. So, this is just a quick procedure that we do, and immediately after that, since this is cold therapy already, mm -hmm. it will help us in numbing the skin. No. In preparation, yes, in for the preparation Botox. for the injection of yeah. the Botox, right? So actually, I have here the brand Botox from Allergan, okay? So this kind of um, treatment will already stop the sweating, okay? So no more use of antiperspirant. Because the problem with the use of deodorants and antiperspirant, they contain this compound called aluminum chloride. Mm -hmm. The side effect now is the dark staining. Whoa. Yeah, it causes dark staining on the skin of the armpit. Mm. So, yeah, pala ibang mga ano, yung pro prolonged usage ng deodorant makaka um, dark skin pala. Yeah, okay. So, one treatment for underarm widening already mm. is to inject botulinum toxin or Botox. Mm. Okay. For those people na may condition called hyperhidrosis. Yes, so. Hyperhidrosis is the excessive sweating mm. on the axilla. Pwede rin yung iba sa palms. Oh, yeah. Yes, the hands. Feet then, there are more yes. cases. Yes, soles of the feet. So, there are more cases. Na ganun. So, we treat them with injection of Botox. Oh, okay. So, wow. in terms naman kay Carmina, hindi naman kasi siya excessive sweating. Mm -hmm. It's just that um, since we're maintaining yung light underarm, so we're preventing underarm darkening, so we can also inject botulinum toxin. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, ako may ng treatment ko rin to para no more use of deodorant. Yes, wow. Wala perfect, nang hassle perfect. dyan. Mm -hmm. But sometimes kasi, you know, when you're stressed o kaya under yes. pressure mm -hmm. or anxious mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. di ba, pag sobrang init, yes. you also sweat. Yes. Right? So, you wanted to stop na lang mm -hmm. ang sweating. Right? Mm -hmm. Ano to, Doc? Mi Nami-minimize or ano pa rin yung sweating? Actually, uh, with the help of the Botox, mm -hmm. nag stop talaga yung sweating. Wow. You can stop it with the right amount. Okay? Mm -hmm. Kung nabigay natin yung right dose, me stop niya. Mm. Baka you might want to know how does it do that? Yeah. What is the mechanism? Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we know naman these are ano, eh, uh, neuromodulators or neurotoxins that we call them. They actually block yung neurotransmitter mm. na trigger dun sa sweat gland to release yung sweat. Mm. So, nabablock niya yun. Pwede dito very... sa ano, yung mga, yung may mga ano, uh, allergic reaction. Well, may mga ganun eh, we tao. don't really get that Definitely. much of allergic reactions with this. Most mm -hmm. of my patients, we don't get reports of allergies. Wow. Okay, since this is just superficial, no worries for that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one is very safe, actually, well studied. Mm -hmm. It's FDA approved. Yes, it's perfect. Been there for more than thirty years. Okay. So, uh, mga what ages ang pwede mong start na magpabotox sa ating? Well, ating. actually, we already had episode on Botox, uses of Botox, even on that age two year old. Wow. For a treatment of, like, for example, a case of cerebral palsy. Yes. Meron siyang deformity sa mm -hmm. paa. So, yeah. Actually, ini inject na din sa area na yon mm -hmm. to release some of the problem doon yung mga muscles or ligaments. Okay. Nice. So, so, marami talaga siyang function. Yeah. Perfect. So, you're asking ano, age bracket, so even yes. young, mm -hmm. tapos middle, mm -hmm. elderly. So, okay, hindi lang talaga siya ano, not only for cosmetics, mm -hmm. but also it has therapeutic so indications. Mm -hmm. I had a case of bifaro spasm, yung mga nagtitwitch abnormal movement, ah, eye area, hemifacial, 
spasm oh. and other neurologic conditions, dystonia. We can make Wait, use of those. Yes. Wow. It has a lot of wow. use and it's very beneficial. Even have patients with migraine, I treat them with both of Wow. Also. So, what are you doing? I uses, mga mm. CSA. Wow. So, it's not just for excessive sweating and all right. therapeutic. See, you're being yeah. informed already. Yes. <laughs> right? Grabe. Yeah. Wow. So, you we did our cryotherapy. This is a, just a quick treatment, quick administration. So, it's not yeah, we make use again of the botulinum toxin, Botox, mm -hmm. okay? So we can start with the low dose. I normally start with just uh, small doses. For the first session? Yes, then they come back after two weeks. Okay, usually the um, effect of this, um, kailan makita? Within the first to two weeks, they already experience decrease in the sweating. For the first session? After. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma and then also, we do a follow-up test. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have a so-called iodine starch test. To mm -hmm. determine the the presence of sweating. Mm -hmm. yes. So this is just the injection of the botulinum toxin. The good thing right now we were able to numb the skin of yes. Ms. Carmina. Using okay. the cryo. Yeah, cold therapy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do ice to numb the skin. Yes. So this is just making use of a tiny needle tiny. and also just tiny injections. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ito lang po. Actually, we inject. Dun lang sa may dermis. Okay. 1 cm apart. Mm. And Carmina already had an experience with Botox, right? Oh. Yes. For face contouring. Yeah. We actually. Baka face contouring din pala itong si yes. Botox. Yes. We also Bonga. maintain Carmina with that on the jawline, remember? Yes. We do oh. the masseter reduction. Mm. And I think Carmina is already due for that. Mga ka CSA, wow. so she has a maintenance. We normally do that like twice a year. She can come back after six months to do Botox on the masseter area. And tingnan naman natin ngayon, contoured na contoured pa rin ang yeah. face ni Carmine. So we're done with the right side. <laughs> yes, as quick as that. <laughs> yeah, wow. I have started actually with just 20 units because mm -hmm. naman siya talaga may excessive sweating. I have cases 100 units, 200 oh. units. It will depend mm -hmm. on the severity. Mm -hmm. So, ayun, may katanungan pa ba, Carmina? Well, we're doing on yes. the Nas left side. Dali po, na speechless ako. Bakit yes. hindi ko manaramdaman na inject na pala? <laughs> Ang galing po, wala kang natin. Thank you. So, we're with done. With the help of the cryo. <laughs> yes, with the help of the cryo. Yes, so, we can already effect. close this area. Yes. So, we'll be doing the other side. Ayan, mga ka CSA. Hopefully, you have some learnings. Oh, On the lot. use of both of us also. Mm -hmm. Right. And mga ka CSA, magbabalik po kami. Makalipas ang ilang paalala. Um, hello, guys. Sa mga may problem sa kilikili dyan. Hashtag kilikili problem. CSA lang ang solution, promise. Super, super galing. Wala akong masabi, nakaka-speechless. Ang galing talaga, promise. Back, mga ka CSA. So here again, I'm with Dr. Contessa. So earlier we did the Botox. So now I'm gonna experience right. for the first time this lucid therapy. Yeah. So, so Doc, Chen here will try our lucid underarm widening. It's her first time. Yes. She has done the IPL before. So again, this is a technology from Bison. And it makes use of an ND Yag Q switch laser. It's not only for whitening, Miss Chang. Yes, no, Actually, it action, also yeah. helps in treating yung concern na mga bumps or chicken skin. Oh wow! Okay. So it smoothens out, and yung surface texture will also be improved. That would be perfect for me because right. I have some chicken skin. Yeah, this is just a quick procedure, painless. No anesthesia needed. Wow! Right? Oh, yeah. Perfect. You can actually do this weekly, mm. right? So, okay. we'll be making use of this treatment and we'll start with this side, ni okay. Miss Chang. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm just gonna step on the foot switch. And wala namang kasakit-sakit. How are you feeling? 
Wow, wala do. Yeah. So, ano na to do? Para ma itatapat lang mo. Yes, ma'am. Actually, it has different energy levels. Mm -hmm. So, pwede natin increase So, for the starter like me, do. First time to do. Yes. We can start 1.5, 2.0. Hanggang okay. ilan ang max nito do. Right? Oh, mataas ang max nito since we're talking about ND Yag Laser. So, depends on the case pa rin. Yes. So, I said you can do this on a weekly basis, five sessions, yan. And nananotice mo na na nagla-lighten yung skin and nag improve yung mga bumps, follicular bumps. Right. So, with Miss Cheng naman, alagang-alaga ang kanyang skin sa axillary area. Thanks to CSA, of course, yeah. Right. So before, kasi ang problem ko kasi very ako mabalbol. So, uh -huh. so yung, yung sa uh, mga hair growth, yan. Yes. Talagang problem. Right. Okay. So this is a good combination with your IPL. Yes. After the IPL, you can actually do lucid laser. Mm -hmm. So yan yung mga maintenance skin care on the axilla. Right. Wow. Well, so, very, madali lang naman yung procedure. Lang. Parang wala lang, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And very safe. So, Hindi and, naman nakakagasgas ng skin or nakakasugat. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman nakaka-irritate. Mm -hmm. So, actually, I'm already noticing lightening ng skin. Wow. So, some of my patients, after the first session pa lang, they were saying an improvement already. Okay. Wow. So, happy si Miss Cheng. What about on the other side? Sa ating... Right, axillary area. Ayan, mga ka-CSA, mag-visit lamang po kayo regarding all our underarm treatments. If you have any questions, inquiries, even comments, okay, yeah. or suggestions, you can email me at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com. Or we actually have a branch at Angeles City. Yes. And I think Miss Cheng knows that. Yes, we featured it the last episode. So guys, open na siya. You can try visit uh, CSA Angeles branch located yan beside ng um, AUF. Correct. Yeah. And it's actually open from Mondays to Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Normally from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Oh, nice. Same thing here sa CSA Dau Pure Gold. We're open from Mondays to Sundays, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. Or you can always visit their Facebook page, right? CSA Germ Center. Yeah. And check out and try their, their cool promo. Yeah, actually we have promo, several mm -hmm. promos, particularly with the underarm treatment. Yes. Ayan mga ka CSA, handog namin sa inyo because we have a lot of clients inquiring ano ba ang mga epektibong treatment para sa pangangalaga ng balat sa armpit. And how's the experience, Miss Cheng? Wow, parang wala na humiga lang ako, chill, chill, and that's it. Yeah. Buti na yung kilikili mo. Right. Ah, ito, so right after, you will see some changes na talaga. Yes, actually. Mm -hmm. And wala namang mga precautions to do. You can go back to your usual activities. O mga ka-CSA, meron po kaming mga handog sa inyo na mga underarm widening treatment, mga combo packages. Yes. Actually, we're doing the Diamond Peel Plus Lactic Peel na safe naman po. And also the Lucid Whitening yeah. Laser combined with the IPL as well as Lucid Laser combined with the injection of Botox. And also the latest uh, rectum gila we have. Yung last yeah, and, and also yeah. we have Lassem for underarm whitening also. Mm -hmm. It has infusion of whitening compounds, yeah. mga CSA. So, ano pa po bang hinihintay nila? Mag-visit na po dito sa CSA Derm Centre, located at second floor of Pure Gold Daub Building, Daub MacArthur Highway, Mabalakat City. Our contact number is 045-331-1117 or 0906-478-4981. Meron kaming Sancel, 0925-704-9948. So you may check that. Again, mga ka-CSA, um, we always want to thank you for always watching yeah. our episodes, for sending us emails, mm -hmm. inquiries, FB messages. We're so glad that we know you're following us. 
and Cheng, thank you so much for being with us and sharing with our CSA. Yes, thank you so much. Any though. message to them? Yes. If you have like any problems regarding with your beauty and stuff, pwede kayo mag-visit sa CSA. And also, you could also subscribe their YouTube channel. Right. So you could just uh, type Doctora's name, Contessa Salvador, and then dun yung makikita yung mga ibang shoots na nagawa, episodes na nagawa, wherein you can witness yung mga testimonials, yung mga um, uh, previous right. procedures. Yes, yes. yes mga kasi CSA. Mm -hmm. So, lahat naman po na aming mga episodes are really authentic yes. and we are certified, we are licensed, we are trained, and we assure you of the safety of all our treatments. And we take talaga na on the spot. Yes. Exactly po. Everything that we do here, actually, yes. are realistic, truthful, authentic. Real time everything. <laughs> yes. And sila po ang magpapatunay yes. mga kasiyese. And of course, ang ating mga televiewers, of ang course. ating mga clients, pinapatunayan naman po nila ang effectivity ng aming mga treatments. And of course, I would like to thank our sponsors, yes. Restylane Philippines, mm -hmm. for always providing us, and Galderma Philippines, mm -hmm. Botox, mm -hmm. Menorini Philippines, and of course, I would like to thank my hair and makeup specialist, Mr. Bot from Hair Avenue at CSA. And mga ka-CSA, bumisit po kayo sa aming new branch at AUF, second floor ng Alcon Building, along MacArthur Highway, Angeles City. So when it comes to your skincare, mga ka-CSA, you can trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority.